my friends, history in crypto will teach us some very valuable lessons. This will help you identify what's real in crypto today and what's fake and the best opportunities for the future. What I'm going to show you right now is a history of cryptos that have come and gone. This is eight years ago, a historical snapshot from CoinMarketCap, January 17th, 2016, which is about eight years ago. Bitcoin was $382. XRP was the second place coin and it was a half cent. Litecoin was third at $3 and Ethereum was just $1.32. Dash was $5 and fifth Dogecoin was under a hundredth of a cent or about a hundredth of a cent. And then look at the rest of these. And here's, I'm filming this live on Twitch, which inspired the conversation. Would love for you to join us and be a member of the live community. And uh, some uh, of the conversation on Twitch was about how Solana has these partnerships and all these active users. And I've said, yes, in the short term, that leads to hype but and uh, price action. But what really lasts in the long term in crypto? This is what almost no one thinks about. And yet this is what's so important. And I can very clearly show you eight years ago will illustrate the point I'm making. So what is real in crypto and what lasts the test of time? So if you look at Bitcoin, I, ha I had Bitcoin. I bought Bitcoin lower than this. And literally all I had to do was do nothing and look at the Bitcoin price from today. If I bought, if I just held the Bitcoin I had from eight years ago, I would have a more than 100x without doing anything anything now uh once we start comparing but but look at xrp so if i i did not have any xrp i didn't think xrp is very good so if i had held xrp i would also have 100x in xrp just however like let's keep going down here if i had bought i didn't i used litecoin for transactions i didn't think it was a big deal if I had bought and held, if you had bought and held Litecoin eight years ago, you would only have made a twenty-something x today versus Bitcoin. So you uh, you could easily have just got a hundred x in Bitcoin. You didn't even need to mess with XRP. Or, and if you had bought Litecoin, you would have lost drastically. But crypto was a bit different back then too. Look at these tiny market caps. XRP had a hundred and some million dollar market cap. With the huge market caps cryptos have today, I don't think you're going to get these kind of gains in the top as much. But let's look at Ethereum. And this is where you can really see the difference. If we look at Ethereum, you would have gotten more than a thousand X. Now, I didn't get into Ethereum until it was about $9. But if you would have bought Ethereum eight years ago, you'd have made a thousand X. And all you would have had to do is just buy Ethereum and hold it. Now, if you would have done a strategy of just buying all of the top 10, you would have diluted your Ethereum gains seriously. Because while you would have got 1,000x in Ethereum, and if you'd have went all in on Ethereum, you'd have 1,000 x But if you average between Bitcoin and Ethereum, you would you know, get a, a couple hundred x. But if you throw Litecoin in there, you crush your gains. If you throw Dash in there, you totally crap on your gains. Look at, and here's where we can learn something. So what's the difference between Bitcoin that 100 x and XRP that 100 x Litecoin that 20 x Ethereum that more than 1,000 x Dash, which did a crappy 5x by comparison, and the worst performer in the top 10. Well, look at the technology. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency, and therefore it had first mover advantage in a big technological breakthrough. XRP was one of the first to send transactions quickly for a low fee, but it was not that much different from Bitcoin. Litecoin was literally a fork of Bitcoin. So the original gets 100x, a fork or essentially a copy where there's very little technological innovation gets a 20x are you starting to understand this 
Ethereum makes a big breakthrough with having one of the first DAOs in crypto and with having smart contracts allowing a vast amount of unlocked functionality, doing stuff you can't do anywhere else, Ethereum does more than 1,000x. Why? Because it breaks through technologically. It's the first mover in smart contracts. The difference between 100x in Bitcoin and 1,000x in Ethereum was identifying that Ethereum at a $100 million market cap had breakthrough technology that nothing else around it had. XRP and Litecoin, and then Dash was just a Bitcoin fork as well. It's done a 5X. And the question is, where are we going from here? Now, if you want to go down further, we've got Dogecoin. So if you go to Dogecoin, Dogecoin is at seven cents today which is about a 700 or something X, we can get the calculator to be a little more exact. So if we take the Dogecoin price where it was at before, and we divide that by the present price of, let's round it to eight cents, we'll get our multiplier. So Dogecoin did a 500 X from where it was at eight years ago. But keep in mind at the time, Dogecoin was the top meme coin. This was another fork of Litecoin. So while Dogecoin did get a 500x, keep in mind that it did not beat Ethereum so far, and it almost certainly is going to continue losing ground against Ethereum going forward. So if you look in the top 10, the only one that absolutely wrecked in terms of beating everything else is the one that had the big technological breakthrough. That's what we can learn from looking back 10 years ago. And then if you didn't research the technology and you even screwing around playing with the meme coin would not beat finding undervalued big technological breakthroughs. And then if you play around in something like peer coin, well, you actually, you didn't make any money in crypto in eight years. If you had went all in on PeerCoin, while Bitcoin 100X, you would have gotten nothing. And uh, some of these 10 years ago, or eight years ago, that were top 10, these were a big deal eight years ago. If you were in the crypto world like me, I mean, there were lots of people talking about these, developing on these, making videos like I did, saying these are gonna be the future. If you had bought into some of these, like FATCOM, XLM, like you get a fraction of the gains. Now XLM is, this was an XRP fork. This is up a little less than 100X today, but keep in mind the original XRP outperformed the fork significantly. I remember BitShares, BitShares was really hyped up and look at the price today. BitShares is just about the same today as it was eight years ago. Emmercoin, if you look back at Emmercoin, this is much less. It has fallen. And that's just in the top 10. Look at the carnage when you scroll down further. Almost everything's been annihilated. Now, there are a couple of exceptions. Monero is up a couple hundred X from where it's at today, but almost everything else has just got destroyed. Especially the further you go down, like all of these, you've, you've, there, look, there was a world coin way back eight years ago. There was a world coin eight years ago already. Look at these. I mean, these have absolutely got destroyed. There's like nothing almost that even survived out of the rest of the top 100, the top 10, and the very best place to make a profit with the least amount of effort was to simply buy and hold Ethereum based on researching the technology and looking that XRP, probably not going to do that well. Yes, the transactions are faster, but being very centralized and, uh, and uh, offering nothing but transactions not that exciting. Litecoin, just a copy of Bitcoin, not that exciting. Wow, here's something new, more than 1,000x. Copy of Bitcoin, copy of Litecoin. Yes, 
it went up, but that also got a very manipulated pump as well. Not that often is Elon Musk going to come in and pump a coin for you. Then you've got these ones. Like, if you can learn anything from this, you need to remember in, this, in crypto, the past is going to repeat itself. So if we go today, yes, there are gains to be had in Bitcoin. There are gains to be had in Ethereum. But look at the technology. And where does the technology stand out that it's undervalued? And look at how XRP is sunk from second to sixth. Another thing you need to pay attention to, while yes, eight years ago, you could have got 100X in XRP, it is lost ground to Ethereum. And it has had two other cryptos that have climbed up above it. And uh, unless, you know, BNB collapses, which it could, Solana collapses, which it could, Ethereum collapses, which it could, unless those happen, XRP is probably never getting above these again. XRP is probably going to continue trending down as superior projects trend up. And look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin was in the top five or six. It's barely hanging on in the top 10 and is dropping further. And the question is, which one of these has the best technology? Which one of these is grossly undervalued? Which one of these can go in here and take out something in the top? based on its technology, not its community, not its marketing and hype and speculation, but its technology. And to me, the only thing I see in the top 100 that is attractive is internet computer because if you look back eight years ago and you see what happened before, Ethereum was the only thing that was really a smart investment in all of the top 100. It was the only thing that was truly a smart investment out of the top 100 cryptos. And if you had simply researched your technology, you could have seen that Ethereum is doing something none of these other ones are doing. It's a big breakthrough. And uh, some people did figure this out, and that's why I pumped so much. Today's equivalent of Ethereum eight years ago is internet computer. The technology is far superior, a generation ahead of anything else in crypto. Which is why I think eight years from now, Internet Computer will be up to number two or number three. And every other crypto will lose ground against it. And uh, eight years from now, Internet Computer may even be above Bitcoin or above Ethereum. Because we've never seen the amount of technological innovation in a single crypto project that we have in Internet Computer. This is why you've got to get out of the hype, get out of the users, get out of the partnerships. Those things are extremely temporary. They do not last the test of time. Hype and partnerships and speculation and price charts, those will get views and clicks from people who don't know any better, but you find the technology and you can find your next thousand X and you can see what's coming. So to me, it's very obvious internet computer is what's coming. And uh, the past makes that even more clear. So I'll see you in eight years from now in 2032. We'll really know if I'm right or not. If you enjoyed this video, I'm a full-time content creator. I'm very grateful for your support. I film this live on Twitch. All of my links are on jerrybanfield.com. My website is on jerrybanfield.com. You can ask me questions in open chat or Discord. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one video call for the best experience. This is a video on my main crypto channel. I have a crypto reviews channel where I destroy crappy altcoins. I have a new autobiography channel where you can really get to know me. A gaming channel, my third gaming channel, where I'm putting my gaming highlights and an original channel that's kind of a crap show, just a throwaway channel at this point, and then all my official links. I appreciate you watching, and I'll hope to see you again soon.